All right, welcome back everyone. Still playing around, trying different mic adjustments. So far, nothing quite seems to work. I'm All gonna, right, where are you? I'm gonna have to move it again. Who saw what happened here? Um. Over Man, here! Your head. Oops. Down, infidel! Oh. I'll get you! Maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm already All right. Well. Over here. You can't escape. Coward. All right, I'm tired of fighting guards right now. Oh, that did not work. I won't give up so easily. Over here. You'll never get away. All right. Now, if you just camp out in here for a little bit till this guy completely dies. And, uh, yeah. I tried hooking up a different mic to my system, but for some reason it wasn't working. What is he doing? You dare steal in my presence? You've no reason to call that. I've done nothing wrong. Why are you I'll take you down. That's the weapon then. I can't Thank you. Thank you. I'll find a way to repay this kindness, I swear it. Alright, so... What in the world? I thought I only had two citizens left to save, but now I have two citizens left to save. Make room. He's going to cause trouble. You ever see someone do that before? You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Die, thief! Please, someone, do something! Hey! You look familiar. <laughs> what do you want? Why are you doing this to me? I've done and nothing wrong! Infidel! Your life is now! Someone gets hurt! Off 
All right, well, nothing quite like killing somebody to ruin a party, I guess. One last person to save, and then, yeah, and go do the actual assassination. Oops. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? You've no Oh, Raban was you. Oh, I'll get you. Along when you did. Another minute and they would have made off to him. All right. There we go. So we I stand before you to deliver a warning. Now I'm gonna head off to the uh, Assassin's Bureau and see if they'll give me permission to perform my task. I wonder if anyone was hurt. I was wondering when we arrived. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tell me your rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you're ready. Alright. If any of you were wondering how I was changing the camera angle, I was just tapping X. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. I didn't know it would do that when I was tapping X. I just hit it by accident and well, found out something I didn't know. Well, let's go find this uh, this guy and make a statement of some sort. Here we go, Templar. Kime boy ne make this person? Kime boy ne make this person? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Forget this, I'm not dying. If I can help it. Crap. Oh, he must have... <laughs> he must have fallen to his death. It does happen occasionally. People are not. Uh, what happened here? As good on the rooftops as I am. Yeah. If you look down, looks like he uh, fell and bent one of his legs in a very uncomfortable position. I would probably die if my leg looked like that too. Anyways, forwards. 
Whoops. Glad that little ledge was there. Let's see, can I? I can't climb up there. What is that man doing? fool must be out of his mind. The fires of Have war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It that was seems not a what I meant tragedy. to do. But I say, this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. Come, come see what I have to offer. Good day, my friend. <laughs> Camera took a funky turn there for a moment. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. So just me or is there no exit to this place other than climbing out? Crap. Great. Got myself stuck in this stupid place. It's one thing it's a little frustrating. Sometimes uh, it's very easy to get turned around. Come see what I have to offer. Watch it! Why would he do that? A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. So it's a good idea when you get in the vicinity to use eagle vision. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think it twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Hmm. What a jerk. My family. Oh, you infidel! You cannot run forever! I did not mean to do that. May God have mercy on your soul. This won't be too difficult. I'll take you now! Be at peace, man. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah. But he thinks I act alone. 
I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. That's proof that the deed has been completed. Alright, now the city is under alert. I have a bunch of guards around me and I'm going to try to figure out some way to escape. Oops, did not mean to fall that far. That won't happen here. All right. I'm trying to plan my route from here. There is a guard over here on the roof. I think if I make a break for it now and stick to the roofs, I should be okay. Looks like the Assassin's Bureau is right here. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other Assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al-Molim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. All right. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. So yeah, there we go. We fully completed that memory sequence. I think it's in between every memory sequence that you can uh, get out of the Animus. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Alright, so we're in Lucy's email box. So you can look at the different sections. So we'll read her email. Mm. Let's start with the bottom. Okay, so she left it at his pen, his pen at his desk. Bunch of legal stuff hmm. 
All right. Let's see if we can get into the old man's computer. I don't think we can because we don't... Yeah. Let's try the other side just to be doubly sure. Oh, man. Camera gets really wonky sometimes when you're doing what I'm doing. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? <laughs> hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. All right, well, I think that's all I'm going to get out of her, at least for now. So, let's see if I can get in here. I don't think so. It looks locked. Let's try, I guess, they want us to go to bed. So, we shall do that. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed in here, and then after we get out in the next scene, I think I'm going to end this part. Whoa, what was that? Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Oh, at least he wasn't standing over us. Creeper. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. All right, here we go. All right, well, there's probably going to be a uh, cutscene, so I'm going to cut Mr. off Miles. here. Time's wasting. <sighs> he is such a pest. Thank you for watching. Please tune into the next part.